Now, can you tilt your head a little bit? Show the camera that, that, that one. So what you just described, here's where we're on the same page about this current time period, obviously, and I say obviously not being a smart ass, just saying it had to occur because it's occurring and I think we think we're going to win. So this is a, this is a, and that is a sacrifice to those who have gone before us and those to turn to lay as we all are dealing with that. There's different, different levels of severity. Yeah. So we're all dealing with it. There are different levels of severity and you take it how you take it in terms of how you absorb that level of severity that you're on. It's all the same to me. This time had to occur so that that concept, in my opinion, I am not saying it's the universal thing, but from where I am right now today, August, whatever the date is, I don't want to mess up the thing, but you know what I'm saying? Today's, where I am today, to me, that seems to be the path because, and it's not because of my internal, it was, it was something that lied, that lied within, because this has been constructs and arguments I've been having most of my life, but it's only because I'm just a pass down of, I man, I go through the whole stuff, you get the same, what I'm trying to say, like, we're all on the same day together, but the point is this, by reading Daniel Black's The Coming, Dr. Daniel Black, The Coming, it is about, it is a, it is a uh, narrative of what it was to be put on that uh, port and the migration. And it talks about how when we got there, Igbo, um, Ashanti, Yoruba, all those different groups. But as we got here, we became one. To me, reading that book said, oh, could it be, and again, sacrifices and levels of severity that I want to pay respect to, that I'm not diminishing. That transformation to me is a path towards universal man, universal woman, universal they. Because the only way that they were able to, the voice, give you shiny trinkets and mirrors and all this hocus pocus BS was because you said, Ebo, don't fuck with them because they got better trinkets. The Ashanti, you know what I'm saying? That tribalism that we had, there's value in it because that's how you get to know who you are and collectively. We'll be, we'll be, I'm assuming, based on where we are today, that area lost sight in the value of the individual tribes, but the universality of it. So they were able to play upon it. So in my opinion, currently how I'm looking at it, in this transformative era, we can become the one. I don't need to be a brother from Kansas City. I don't need to be a brother from Compton. I just need to be a brother who understands why I'm in the belly of the beast and come together as one. And through that transformation can show what universal man, universal woman, universal they can be. Because we have to be. There will be no Georgia niggas fighting Arkansas niggas. Won't be no niggas. 